They're so stupid. I mean, if that actually happens with the military and the police as awake as they are, it doesn't matter what narrative they put out. Uh, Soros trying to have this war on police and all the rest of it. It's, it's just going to blow up in their face. I think we're going to find that the best laid plans of mice and men often go astray. What do you have to say about that? No, I think you're absolutely right, because there are too many good, decent people in this country who are so patriotic and, and concerned about these issues. They're not going to be able to push this through. I just believe that that's, I believe that that's the case. I really do, because I've met so many people in this country who are, who are really feeling that our government is not doing the same thing. Even some of the polling, they say that our country is going the wrong direction. Well, it's because, you know, these people police fraudulent things, and we know what they're doing. We know they're corrupt. Um, in D.C. And so, you know, it's all a matter of, uh, of, um, of resisting this and how you do that. And my way is to stand out there and speak uh, all this, uh, try to try to accuse them of the things that they've been doing, like treason against the founding principles of this nation and so on, uh, and doing it on public and uh, radio here with your show and also on sure. television and so on. That's my way of doing it. Oh. Others can choose their own way, whichever way they feel comfortable with. But my point is you have to stand up to defend democracy or we're all going to lose it. Well, we are losing our republic right in front of our eyes. Have a great Christmas, sir. ExposedFacts.org. Thank you so much for standing up for my family and everybody else's. Thank you, William Benning. Well, thank you for having me. Amazing individual. I wonder if it freaks the globalists out to have the guy that ran the NSA against the Soviets now fighting them.